testing our final, or what we think is our final revision of the cavitation plate, seeing how it does on turns at high speed and also in really shallow water. So we'll see how it does here. Nobody thinks we're faking this. That's that's the bottom right there. So like three or four inches max. stuck anymore. Alright, we're going to show you what kind of bite this has right at the surface. See what a fine line it is and what a difference it makes. Okay. This is half the prop in the water. in the video but the mud buddy plate is a good two to three inches out of the water. Try and run a mud flat. See what happens. It's worth noting that we are completely beached up here. There's no dry Son ground of a beach. or no wet ground underneath the canoe. It's dry. And part of the problem is it's dry by about an inch. That's called biting off more than you can chew. Yeah. Well, we got a little over ambitious with this whole thing. The plate went to our head. We tried to run dry ground and that is what we got. 
All right, we found some water here that's about the depth of the spur, and we have a pretty hard bottom. So we're going to see if this plate makes a difference if we can get going here.